So if you have already created a Unity project and are looking to add version control to it, I would recommend downloading and installing GitHub Desktop. Once you open that and set up your GitHub account, select create a new repository on your hard drive and select the local path to your directory for your Unity game. Give your repository a name and in the git ignore dropdown, select Unity. This will ignore all files that are not necessary for the repo. Now this will unfortunately create a folder inside of your game project, but all you need to do is open that folder, copy the contents, then paste them one level above. Then you can delete that folder. Swap back to GitHub desktop and you should see that it can no longer find your project. Simply click locate and find your project folder again. Now you just need to make sure all your files are selected on the left and add a commit message and select commit to main. And congratulations, that is your game's first commit. Now you should see there are no local changes and a button to publish the branch. Select that and then publish repository. If you head over to your GitHub account, you should see your newly uploaded project. It is backed up in the cloud, allowing you to share and or collaborate. If for some reason you lose your project, it becomes corrupt or your hard drive crashes, all you need to do is download and install GitHub Desktop. Clone your project down and bring it back to your hard drive. Inside Unity Hub, select Open and Add Project from Disk and locate your game folder. When you open it back up and reconfigure your layout and settings, open your scene and you're right back to where you left off from your last commit. And that's it. All you need to do is keep committing code and pushing it to the repo on a regular basis. In a later video, I will go over how to use branches in game development, but this is a good start to using Git and could very well be all you need. If you enjoyed the content, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.